a major bloodbath in the world. They decided to go on a governmental policy of reconciliation, throw into jail the major perpetrators and murderers, but not take revenge. At the same time, psychologists work in the field. They call it the healing process. Religion return to an old cultural um, um, tradition of the gachacha, the village trial of the perpetrator, a grassroots movement. So you had at the same time top-down and bottom-up process. Being working only with children and youngsters is leaving out the influence on the political process. Children and youngsters do not have a political voice. Maybe they once will have it, give it another 25 years. Thank you very much. So I have two conclusions with this very end. There's one. One major challenge I claim of today is not just to create changes of perceptions, beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors, but to learn how to sustain them. The library is filled with books, how to change attitudes and beliefs. There is hardly anything about how do you, how do you sustain it in the face of the surrounding way. And the second conclusion is, the second major challenge is to create a ripple effect. It's very nice to have little islands where people have been influenced by this education. Kana Senora yesterday mentioned the numbers. Three, five, fifteen percent have ever participated in any peace education program around here. There are islands we don't have continents. And without creating continents and being only with islands. We don't make too much progress. So our challenge is to think of how to create the ripple effect. Parents, neighbors, peers, classmates, media, politicians. Thank you very much.